Hang on. I can't see anyone, and I swear I was here alone. Morning guys, day two. So I have spent, to be fair, I've spent the morning indoors. Um, it rained again all morning, so I was still drying my things off from yesterday. Um, done a little bit of editing towards the YouTube side of things, edited some photos and so on. Um, but I'm now on my way out, I'm gonna go to Chapel Porth. Um, been there again, been a few times. Um, it's one of my favorite places in Cornwall. So um, it's quite a lot of mining heritage, some nice beaches, plenty of walking. So. Yeah, we're gonna head on down there. I'm hoping it's not gonna rain again. The sky's looking really gray, but it's saying that down in in that area, it's um it's sunny. It looks like it's breaching through. So frost. Um, just gotta find somewhere en route to get a a drink and a bite to eat because the shop on the actual um like campsite that I'm staying at, although it's meant to be open for some reason, it's shut. So I think they've gone for lunch. But I am. Um, I'm gonna find somewhere on route and then I'll catch up with you guys when we're there as always and see you soon. I jinxed it. I definitely, definitely jinxed it. Yeah. Look, I'm not even joking. Literally, it's been 60 seconds. Right, made it. So, cafe was open, which is great. So I managed to get myself some food. I've got a um, crock, monsieur, basically ham cheese toasty, but with a fancy name. Uh, so, just chowing down on this, but just met a nice Canadian couple. Had a chat with them whilst I was waiting for my food. But I am moving on now, plodding along, because the path I would normally walk up, which is at the end, has been um, has been shut. They said that it's damaging the the floor and heathlands and so on so I um, have to take the long way so I thought I'd start walking now and try and get it done before the weather changes but look it's beautiful blue skies so we've gone from rain to sun to shine so let's not complain Right, it's really windy. We made it to the top. You might not even be able to hear me because of the wind, but I am. Um, will show you where we are. Yeah, nice place. One of my favorite places. You've got all the old mine houses over there. I don't know if you can see them up on the cliff. I've got pictures of those, so I'll um, I'll throw up a picture as well for you to see. But today we're going to explore the other side because I don't know if you can see, but there's another one up on the top of that hill. So we're going to go have a look at that, and then we're also I want to have a look at some of these rock piles, and there is also a bit of beach that I believe I'm going to be able to scramble down to whilst holding a GoPro. So we'll um go down that too. I have no idea if you can hear me. Absolutely no idea. But I just want to show you as well, this is one of these rock bars I was on about. So you can see how it's all just like, it's quartz. You can see how it's all, fuck out of the light. Oh, which one am I going that way? You can see it's all quartz um, and just random rubble. And this has all come out of the mine that would have been up on top and they've just sort of thrown it over the edge. So that's what these rock piles are. And there'll be loads of those around. Um, sometimes if you're in an area that you didn't know had mining that's how you tell it did have mining is because you see the rock piles first but yeah and then sometimes occasionally you get some interesting things so like last time i was here i found um iron pyrite which is quite cool never really found anything like that before so that was a nice touch but again always keep my eyes peeled and you'll find things like this where like you know this rock is really really shiny couldn't tell you what it is or why but hey it's cool
Right, I think my lens has changed over and then keep walking around. So go back to what I was saying just a second ago um, about the, the mine shafts and the gravel. So this here is a shaft that they've capped off. Um, so although it's backfilled, obviously below it, there is still, as I say, a shaft. So they put these like grates over them to mark them and to stop anyone accidentally stumbling across them, um, just in case it ever does sort of fall through. But yeah, plenty of these around, but we're gonna try and find something more interesting than that. So let's keep going. Right, I'm just going to do this bit here because I'm shielded from the wind by this rock behind me. Um, so I found the bit that I want to go down. <laughs> the tide's in, so that means I have to come back up it. So I need to make sure I can get back up it whilst I'm going down. So I'll have, I'll have the GoPro on me, but um, we're going to have a look. It's going to be really windy, so I'm probably not going to be able to talk much. But there is something cool halfway down that I want to be able to show you, which is why I'm going down it. So let's crack on. We'll get back out into the wind and uh, yeah, see how we go. on. Pretty sure you can hear the wind on the camera, so you can tell what I mean about how it is insanely windy down here. It's making my nose run, but what we work down to is worth it, I can assure you. So this is where you get your first glimpse of it. So you can end up coming down here. I mean, that's probably about level, so it gives you an idea. It's not too steep, it's not too bad, but you're working all the way down, and then you get all the way down to beach level, so. Absolutely worth doing. I don't know if the tide's on its way in or on its way out, so I'll try and find that out because it's on its way out we can walk all the way along the beach as well which would be really nice so I'm going to carry on I'll pick back up with you in a second so you can see how steep steep it is here and obviously all the rock is quite loose as you can see it's all giving way constantly so I'm just trying to be as careful as possible because oh, I've obviously got my camera in my bag and my lenses and my iPad so the last thing I really want to do is fall but this bit here this little rocky bit when you get beyond that that's where it's got the um the sort of the interesting thing that i want to show you so uh, that's what we're aiming for but man this place is a nightmare i mean that's that's looking up it this here is about in line with me so you can see you can see how steep it goes but as i say well worth it oh and i just checked as well and the tide is on its way out so when we get down there too, we shouldn't have to come back up. We should be able to just walk along and go up the next bit of cliffs, which would be really nice. Right, so this is one of the first cool things you get to see down here. So there's actually and add it just here. So that goes into the mine. Um, it doesn't go very far. I've seen videos of someone getting in it. Me personally, I'm not willing to because the way you've got to get in it is you've got to climb up this and walk along this and that's a straight drop to here. So on the basis that I'm scared of heights or scared of falling, scared of falling and just walking down this is making my knees go a bit weak. You ain't get me across that. Not in a million years. This is the main bit that I wanted to show you. Hang on, two seconds, let me just... So there's actually, there's a car down here.
Yeah, so here you go. See, there is an entire car or something. There's an entire car or something down here. That bit actually, I uh, literally just says point on it. That doesn't help me very much. I don't know whether anyone is going to be able to identify anything from this, or I'll um, I'll try and find a story of it online. Maybe, maybe there's a a news report. I wondered if maybe any of these electrical cables would have something on them. I probably don't want to mess with it too much, but yeah, there it is. It's obviously been here a long time, hasn't it? You know, it's not like it's going to be recent or anything. There, what's that? A brake disc? Yeah, brake disc and drum. Yeah. Car fanatics out there. Have a look. Tell me what you think. See, that's still there, hanging out. And then you can also see all the colour of this rock. I don't know if that's some sort of like sulphur or something like that, but it must, it must run out of the rock. There's another mine here as well. Probably again, I don't know if it leads back into the same bit or where it goes, but... I ain't brave enough to do it. If you are, come back, let me know, tell me what's inside, but no way you're getting me walking up these. Not on all of this, um, all of this loose rubbish. Not a chance. Right, we're basically at the bottom now. I'll just show you where we are. So, we've got this bit to get down, which I've done before, I know I can do that. That's what we've just had to come down. You can kind of see the top of it, it's all the way up through there. But that gives you an idea of how far we've come. These beautiful green cliffs. Coolest stack I've ever seen, I'll show you that in a minute. But, the tide is actually still cutting off the beach. So, for now at least, down here. I either have to wait for the tide to go out or go up that. We might have to climb back up, but at least I know I can. That's the most important thing, I suppose. But let's kind of look at the beach. Right, we're down. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Just had to get from here down to this bit. It was all right. What I didn't realise though is that the bit I've just come down on, I think, has been mined at some point. I don't remember that from last time. What I do remember is I might be further around than I thought. I thought there was one just here, but it might be on the next bit. Yeah, it is. Must be on the next bit. I'm going to have a look, but we're down the tide beach to ourselves. Low tide is at its lowest at about six o'clock, so I've got about two hours, and all I've got to do is hope that it goes low enough that I can get around. If not, I have to climb back up that, which I'm not looking forward to, but I'm quite confident I could do it without too much issue. So yeah, we're going to uh, have a little look around the beach, and then I'm sure we'll see some tourists arrive soon as the tide goes out. Enjoy. you um it's this but i don't remember all this last time so i don't know whether that's fallen in naturally or whether it was put there or what it may have been there last time i'm not sure i don't remember it but i'm going to try and get you a look inside as well so i don't know how much you can see in there i don't know if the light's adjusting or not but i don't know how far it goes I don't want to be stood under that for too long and there is no way I'm squeezing my ass in there because, well, as you can see, the ground is really, 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 really loose. It's just not worth it. At some point it's going to come down and knowing my luck, it'll do it in the 30 seconds I put my head inside. Um, don't fancy it. So I'm sure there will be more. I'm sure there'll be more. But yeah.
keep confusing myself. I keep walking along and then going, hang on. I can't see anyone and I swear I was here alone. And then I realised that when I first got here, the first thing I did was walk pretty much to the rocks over there and then back, which is why I'm seeing footprints. Silly me, silly, silly me. But we've seen some jellyfish, dead ones, but jellyfish. Yeah. I'm just going to look at this bit because there is a wooden beam. I don't know if that's like a stink beam by miners or what, but there's also lots of sea foam. Just going to look around the corner. Oh. Oh. That looks like it might actually go somewhere. I'm going to try and have a nosy, but I think you know, the nosy's not there. It's going to be easier than trying to get around the corner at the bottom, and I don't want to stand to all the foam. So, let's, um, oh. Let's get up there, shall we? Leaving the camera. Camera's staying down there for a minute, because, oh, you know what will happen. If I bring the camera up as well, I'll fucking stack it. Oh. If I don't already. Oh man, I don't do heights. Do not do heights. And this is, oh. Nad right there. Oh, this already looks terrifying. Why do I do these things to myself? Okay, you might have to go away from it else to do this because, um, oh, I'm not a fan of doing this with one hand. I'm trying, all right, I'm trying. Oh, cut me some slack. Jesus. If any of you watching know me, you know that I don't do heights. So you know that trying to do this with a single hand, to me, is not the one. But you can't really see anything. I don't know if you can sort of see down there on the camera or not, but I don't want to walk through that. Right, this might not necessarily be cool to everyone, but you can see how there's been sort of fresh rock pool here. You can see how the colours of the rock are different because obviously they're inside and outside and that over there looks really fresh. So, just goes to show how unstable all these cliffs are and actually by, you know, going underneath them and so on, it is a little bit sketchy, especially being the fact that I am here on my own. I'm on the beach on my own. So, if I do something deny it myself, who knows if anyone's coming down here today? You know, most people might have gone home by the time the time tide goes out. So, yeah, who knows? I am just going to have a little look. I wanted these rocks now, but I want to have a look and see if you go over these rocks. Are there people literally just a bit further down the beach, or am I like well and truly in here by myself? But tide is not going to permit walking around. So if I want to do it, I have to go over. So we cut back. I don't know what that is there. There's something there that looks man-made. Very cool. Very cool, but nothing too much to see, unfortunately. There's not as many as I thought. I thought being at beach level, I thought there'd be quite a few adits if I had a proper look for them. But to be fair, not seeing much. They're probably all underneath the rubble now. I get that. And 
you know, a lot of the mine probably went below sea level, so they didn't necessarily run out onto the beach. They might, they're probably just drainage addicts to let the water drain out, but it's, um, it's something I thought I'd see a little bit more of. Hang on, what's this? We'll have a look. I'm not, um, I'm not feeling too hopeful. Yeah, we got. It's just a cave, and then yeah. nothing. Nada. Well, that's a shame. Maybe they've just all collapsed. I don't know if they even existed. But right, I'm about as far around as I can get now without the water stopping me so I now have to go up so we're gonna get the torch away and then we're gonna start making our journey to the top that's where I was trying to get to is where these people are but on the map it almost looks as if once you get to those rocks here you can't actually get to the beach. There's like another beach in between them. And it's, um, I don't know whether my perspective is all messed up or, or what it is. There you go, so this will give you a slightly different angle of where we went down earlier. Around. So we go down in this crack here. Right, I'm just walking to the bottom of the line. Um, the water's deep, I'm gonna get my jeans absolutely soaked. Um, but the water is freezing cold too. Absolutely Baltic. I'm just try not to get too um too soaking wet. But Jesus, my feet. Frozen. Oh. 
like genuinely hurts kind of frozen. Oh god, that was sinky. I've just gone in the sand all the way to my knee. Oh wow. Yeah. I've just gone in about as deep as my knee in the sand. I'm gonna go and have a little look. Might have to get my torch out in and see. Right. I'm gonna get my light out. Bear me two seconds. So, in the spirit of going through things. Yeah, oh, I just dripped something. I've got this too. Oh, is it that food? That's stuck in the jellyfish. Oh, I think there's a dead fish there too. Nice. Oh, there's another pool there. I think this one goes. We're about to find out now, aren't we? Oh, that's why it goes very deep. This side of it. Not so much. And then. Oh, I'm not bad, is it? Yeah, it looks like you get around. That is. That's a bit too deep for me. But. Oh, it's glorious. You come out here and. Get your feet on the sand and all of a sudden it's nice your feet are warm again i love it i am however soaked all the way up to my thighs same as yesterday because well this time all right it was my own doing but but it was worth doing um, i was just debating whether to go in i was like oh you know i can see it but you know is it something that i really need to see and so on and then there was another couple oh, i get chatting to people all the time there's another couple there and they walked down and they were like, oh yeah, you've got to go in, or oh, you've got to have a look. And I was like, oh, okay, I suppose so then. I'm actually walking the wrong way now. I ended up getting chatting to them. I've wandered off with them. I'm like a, I'm like a lost puppy, they've taken me with them. I actually want to go back to that one with the mine in because there was a few more pictures I wanted to take from the outside. I've dawdled, I've, oh, I'm a nightmare. I'm an absolute nightmare. I wanted all the way over there again. All right, I'm walking back. See you in a minute. It's really hard to explain how awesome this place is. Um, there's loads of people here to look at it, but if I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. So this is a cave. I don't know if you can see that. What have you got in the back? Mind you, make the old feet, but can you see? I'm going to go rock again. It's freezing. Can you see that white dot? It's actually the sunlight coming through that hole at the top that I showed you inside. Um, so you can see it reflecting off the rock where the sun's just in the right position. Um, 
I've never seen it before. As I say, I've been here loads of times. Oh, just my hand over the lens. I've been here loads of times. Just never, never noticed it. But awesome, really awesome. So I think that's me done now. I'm not going to go up to the top here. I am. Um, I'm stopping work now. So I'm going to stay on the beach and then once my feet off somewhere and go and get my shoes back on and head back for some dinner. I think. Almost back at the car, but there's a couple of caves up near the car park. I thought, oh, don't want to scare the little bird. Come on, mate, how you get? Come on, bud. Oh. Mm. <laughs> they might actually go somewhere. Let me get me old uh, Andy torch out, and we'll uh, we'll have a little look, shall we? Does it go? Oh, you have to like proper crawl to get in it. Oh, I've still got it faced on me. Sorry, guys. That's what you're looking at. Does that one don't go anywhere? Oh, we'll um, try the others. See if they're any better. They might not be. They might go absolutely nowhere. But. So get a picture of him in a minute if he lets me. I'll have to change my lenses, but worth it. Absolutely love the rock pickets. Right, let's go and have a little look in. These, oh, I think I can see from here that one goes nowhere. But you don't know until you try. And as my jeans were already wet, I might as well try every opportunity. Righty, what are we doing? Oh, that goes through to the next one. Oh. Oh. Nah. No dice. Let's get this guy. Yeah, we'll look at what's coming in. Nice to find one, which I can see. Don't go anywhere. Can you trick the water? I think it's just running off some rocks, that's all. Nothing too um too crazy. But that's it. Right, I'm gonna try and get a picture of this little rock pipit and I'm gonna shoot back to the car and that's me done for the day I think. So we're going to rinse my feet off, so you've got this nice little stream. So I'm going to oh, take a perch and just go through the feet. Oh, Baltic. Baltic. But it does the job. Now I've got to get my shoes on and my wet feet. I can dry them off when I get home. I'm not, not playing about with socks. That'd be crazy. Oh. And then I'm going to go home and start editing some pictures and putting some video together. See you in a bit. 